So last week we talked about the downloading the project that you created for the base unit using the USB memory stick here. So the project is actually downloaded onto a memory stick. You can you can pop the memory stick into your laptop if you need and, and save it onto the memory stick that way, or you can download it via standard Ethernet cable. So that kind of comes to the end of making the project. So we've gone from having um, a blank project to inputting e-stops, light curtains, reset function, ping it to a HMI, um, showing how to mute uh, the muting function element works within the PNAS multi that you actually don't need an advanced light curtain that you can just use the muting function within the, the PNAS multi. And we also showed how to link several different multi PNAS multi projects together safely using the multi-link um, expansion module. So I think kind of all I've left to do is I want to show you how to upgrade upgrade your project. So if you did have an old PNAS multi and you were looking to upgrade to the new base unit, either the the MB0, this one, or the MB1, which I'm using here. Um, it just saves a lot of space in your panel. Um, also, these old um, multi-classics are quite old. Um, so if you are looking to upgrade your panel, it is quite easy to do it. So I do have a demo kind of test project that I made earlier. With This is one of the old PNAS multi-classics with the Ethernet ports. I think it's, I think it's this one, um, 7731013. And if you wanted to just mimic exactly the same hardware, but using the new PNAS Multi, it's actually quite easy to do. Um, like in this program, I just have quite a simple program. It's just a load of inputs, e-stops, safety gates, light curtains, um, the same with the outputs. It's not, there's nothing too majorly complicated, but if I just wanted to change that program using the new, we'll say the MB, I'll say the MB0, it's simply just drag and drop the new MB0 onto the middle of the screen. Ask me, do I want to save the project first? Yes. Okay. Um, or yes, it's fine. Um, and it automatically relocates all the inputs and the outputs and selects the new hardware that you need for the new base unit. So it also gives you an, a test report of it. So the migration process the application, yes. MB0, yes, it's okay. So next, so it asks you, you have, so I have 57 elements in this existing program and it's saying that I can successfully migrate every one of the elements. So this is the old hardware and it's already showing me these are the exact new hardware that I need. And it generates a report for me. So on this report, it, it says the, the original hardware is a field bus module. I was using Profinet. So it's just saying that if I can still use a field bus module, the base unit, the new base unit. And it's actually saying here that the IOs are not necessary in the old one. Obviously, I can just use the original IOs on the base unit myself. Um, so it shows all the inputs that I had assigned are now migrated. And it tells me exactly where I need to put them. So from a rewiring point of view, there would be a small bit of rewiring, but the selection process is much easier. So if I go back now to my hardware configuration, it's now the MB0 instead of the old uh, multi, multi classic one. The field bus module, the Ethernet port, of course, I lost my Ethernet port from the, the original classic. So they replaced it with an expansion module and Ethernet port. I have the same amount of IOs and it gives, gives me one relay output because on the original Ethernet, I would have had, I would have had relay outputs. So I've had two relay outputs and the original base unit, and that's been replaced with an expansion module. So that kind of just gives you an idea of how easy it is to upgrade your project using the the software configurator tool. Um, so if you have any questions on today's video, just pop them in the comments below.